Hello my gorgeous friends, I hope you are well. I'm back with another mukbang. Today's mukbang is from a little old store called Publix. They're all over the GD place down here, down south. And one of my viewers, thank you, told me they have good subs. So I wanted to try the subs in the deli section of Publix. They make it for you themselves. It was $5.89 for the sub that I ordered. They put a lot more cheese on it than Subway would. Subway puts literally two slices of cheese, which is cut into, wait, no, it doesn't. I'm sorry, four slices of cheese cut into eight triangles. That's what they consider extra cheese at Subway. At Publix, it, it looked like a lot of cheese. Looks good, smells good. I get um, extra American cheese. I'm a vegetarian, by the way, so it's a cheese sandwich. Extra American cheese, lettuce, tomato, extra pickles, mayonnaise, and salt and pepper. I got my favorite, which is cheese Doritos, and to drink, I have a Dr. Pepper, and I also have a sparkling ice in a Yeti that is um, like a sparkling ice slushy. I actually drove today, it's the first time driving my boyfriend's car. I drove like, like I said, there's a Publix all, all over the place. So I just drove to a Publix. Bread is good. This is five grain bread. Pickles are very dill. Pickles, pickles at the forefront of that bite, I'll tell you. Pickles and salt. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm, it's very salty. Mm. Really appreciate that she didn't go cheap on the cheese. Publix is a really clean, great place with nice employees. I'm really proud to shop there. I really like that store. <laughs> Compared to Connecticut, everyone down here is just so much nicer in general. Mm. My boyfriend and I went to a Publix and the young girl offered to carry our groceries out to our car for us. Obviously, you know, my boyfriend and I are, and I are both able-bodied. And it was just like, whoa. I've never been to a grocery store that was like, can I help you with your bags? <laughs> Wait, what? So they go above and beyond. And they still have baggers here. In Connecticut, everything was pretty much mostly switched to self-checkout with a computer and no bagger just one person to man the self-checkout well there was and then there would be like one or two lanes open with a human i'm sure there's some self-checkout here but i i actually haven't seen it and every lane still has the cashier and the bagger which is like whoa what and here you don't have to in florida by the way i just moved here sort of and um so I'm just noticing so many differences. Um, and here they still give you plastic bags where in Connecticut you had to bring your own bag or pay like five or ten cents per bag. I think it thinks the bread's my face. I need a less offensive camera. I finally saw the documentary Class Action Park. Um, I downloaded a free trial of HBO Max. 
which is the only place that I could find that you can watch that documentary. And I actually thought it, I thought it was really good. I was really excited to watch it because it just seems so interesting. It's about um, a water park in New Jersey that's now closed, but the story of how it became who it was, who owned it, how they made it from the perspective of um, former kids that used to go to the park when they were younger and people that used to work at the park which was pretty much run by teenagers with no rules and people would get hurt and like die at the park all the time and they would cover up what happened but it was kind of like a, a cool thing like well you know toughen up this is new jersey you know they took it as like a badge of honor to have survived going to action action park as a kid it seems so interesting um yeah so i, I definitely encourage you to check that out if you can Mm. I love sandwiches. I love carbs. I love combinations of cheese and bread. Pizza. Um. Yeah. Now I still haven't canceled my HBO Max subscription yet. I know it's fifteen. I think it's fifteen dollars a month after this trial period. If I don't cancel it, because I already gave my credit card at the beginning um so i don't know i might keep it for a month because i love documentaries so i'm assuming or thinking there's a lot of documentaries that i haven't watched yet and i am watching one i don't know what it's called but it's about a guy that um is in jail and seemingly didn't commit the crimes that the murders at least been put away for you know like he's an innocent person they're trying to get him out Mmm. Mmm. The lady did, well, she dropped my sandwich bag on the floor. And she gave it to me anyway. Which I was glad because I was like, oh god, is she gonna like start over? Pick it up off the floor and hand it to me, lady. Also, I have Amazon Prime, so I saw the movie Borat. Thought it sucked. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I think a lot of people thought it sucked. I don't know. I, I'm curious to see the reviews, but I'll tell you why I didn't like it. Too many incest jokes. The whole thing was based around, like, incest jokes. I mean, one in the beginning, it's like, okay, you're sick. You know, I don't, I don't think... I never laugh at an incest joke. I don't think it's really funny. Um... But the whole thing was just non-stop incest jokes. Like Borat's daughter was in it. And um, it was all kind of about that. So. Um, yeah. I didn't think it was funny at all. To the point where I was like. Why does Sasha Baron Cohen think that incest is so funny? I mean, who does think it's funny? I, th I don't think a normal person would really think, like, incest jokes are funny. And then, even if you're into incest, I don't think it's funny for you. I think it's more, it's a sexual thing for you. You wouldn't really laugh at the joke. So, I fell asleep at the end. I don't even know what happened at the end. But, um, I don't even know. So I'll, I didn't laugh at anything, unfortunately. Mm. Mm. I got my hair cut and colored. I'll put a picture up here. I don't know if you could tell because I'm kind of in the shade. And the girl made it look really good. I didn't have the intention of getting it colored. It's highlighted, sort of. Especially in the front, but I don't think you can tell. Um, yeah, the girl did a really good job like curling it, which I did order a curling iron. It's going to be here to, today or tomorrow, but I don't, you know, I don't know if I, how often I'm going to take the time to curl it, but I was like, oh my God, it doesn't even look good when it's straight, but now I think, now I do think it looks good when it's straight. It looks fine. I'm sorry that the, like, the lighting keeps changing. What the fuck? 
What the hell kind of shit quality production is this? Hold on, I can finish this. Mm. My boyfriend has satellite radio or serious radio, whatever. I love the Hair Nation channel. I've been getting back into hair metal. I almost picked out a dessert here too, but I decided against it. Mm. Mm. My boyfriend made um linguine. Linguine with mushrooms and gorgonzola cream sauce last night. It was so good. And then I was working all this morning and finally at like one, no, maybe like noon, it's like three, 312 right now, maybe at noon I had um, the leftovers, so I, so they kind of like took off the bite of being hungry, hungry for this mukbang. I don't have any willpower. I just don't have any willpower to like not eat. Like when there's leftovers like that in the fridge that I know are so good, like that doesn't leave my mind. I just am hyper aware that these delicious leftovers are in the fridge. You know, I got my hair done and she took a few photos of me and videos for her Instagram and I, and I had created a like before and after video for my Instagram. So I got my hairstylist. Um, her Instagram I tagged her and now we're following each other. She tagged me in a post last night She said something like when the entire salon thinks your client gives off housewife vibes little do they know <laughs> Because now that she follows me I, I take take that to mean that she's like whoa That's what this girl is up to because I'm so like quiet in person and just kind of reserved and like modest and like I could see how they would think that Especially in this era, there are like a lot of rich, I guess, housewife types who just stay home, but nope, that's not me at all. You know, I'm doing crazy stuff online and working for myself and whatnot, but housewife five, I thought that was hilarious. Oh my God, that looks like my friend. I still have this half left. It seems like more than a foot long. Might be. Mm. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so full after this. You know, I like it with the Dorito though. It's just a little plain without it. You know what I'm gonna do? Take this little piece of cheese right here. Take it off and save it for another spot, like towards the back, towards the butt. I can see there's like not a lot of cheese there. Even out a bit. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Oh man! I was also just watching like a documentary or the YouTube channel Explore With Us. They, um, I don't even know where it is, but they went to the LDS, no, jeez, FLDS? <clears throat> the, the Warren Jeffs. LDS stuff. Anyway, he showed, they showed an interesting perspective on these people because by the media, they're always shown as like, children aren't allowed to have toys. The adults marry the children at like, you know, prepubescent kids. There's so this rampant like pedophilia. 
they have, you know, they, nobody has cell phones, so women don't work, women are inferior, um, they have multiple wives. I guess some of it's true and some of it isn't, and it's more of a case-by-case -case basis, I guess. I don't think there's, like, an edict over the entire situation where women can't do this or kids can't do that, and, like, some are married as kids, you know, and there is pedophilia, and there is spousal abuse, and there is this and that, but I guess just not. And I've also read books about how bad it is and can be. Like, if Warren Jeffs, though, t tells you, say your mom or dad, that your 10-year-old's going to get married or something. I don't know how young, but married to an 80-year-old in the community. Like, you don't really have a cho cho choice about it, but... Anyway, they did shed light on some people that hadn't experienced any of those things one way or the other. Anyway, I'm just very fascinated with like cults. Oh, oh my God. And then I watched another documentary type thing about breatharians, I think it's called. It's people that don't eat and they try to survive on like light and sun and air. <laughs> and then, uh, hold on. It ain't me. There's so much bad in the world. How are you going to take the one good thing? Food. And, and shun it. How are you going to do that? Yeah. So from that documentary... What ended up happening with these breatharians is they would go, like, I think maybe around 100 days. They would go without eating or, well, I think they were drinking, but a little bit. And then they, they didn't realize, but they would, they would die. Like, they were killing themselves. They were starving themselves to death. But they weren't realizing, like, towards the end of their life that they were so close to death, you know? They would just die. I guess it's like an anorexic. Like, if your heart can't take it anymore, I really don't know what happens. But one day you're just gone, I suppose. So they would take it really, really way too far until it was too late. Um, but then there was it was funny too because it was one like guy or prophet or of this breatharian movement, which is still going on today. And the guy was like lying, telling everybody he hadn't eaten in 17 years, but like people had seen him eat and at one point somebody saw him come out of a McDonald's and then he just wrote it into his writings that you can't eat anything but McDonald's quarter pounder or whatever specific burger is okay and he even wrote it to the extent of saying that McDonald's is a source of love and purity and I was like what? Like so and so was called out for eating at a McDonald's, and so he changed his writing. <laughs> so I consider the stuff like that a cult too. I was like, who would follow somebody like that? <laughs> I'm tapping out. I couldn't finish this right now. Um, that was the Publix Deli Section Mukbang. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a like. Leave me a comment letting me know that you stopped by. Subscribe to my channel and share this on your social media if you'd like. Um, yeah, see you guys very soon. Okay, thanks. Bye.